went off to work already. It's um, just after seven. I'm just waiting for Nathan to get out of bed. Emma's already out and then I'm gonna start making breakfast. So today I'm gonna share Get Ready With Me. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting that. I am like the last person honestly to ask for like a makeup <laughs> review or tutorial or a Get Ready With Me. I honestly am like not the best at it, but I'll show you guys. I think it'll be fun. And then I wanna share with you guys an oatmeal bar recipe that I have been obsessed with lately. Also, we have two unwelcome guests in this video, one and two. So. Um, we're gonna cover up those bad boys today with the makeup. Oh, this is just, this is not a cold sore. It looks like a cold sore. It's actually just a, a pimple. Same thing under here. It's like, I never get them. So I'm like so curious why I got a couple like the past few days. So anyways, yeah, we're gonna cover those up today. <laughs> dinner breakfast which is absolutely ridiculous but let me explain um nathan loves oatmeal if i want him to eat like a solid meal like i know he'll be like really full for a while it's oatmeal emma doesn't like oatmeal i don't like oatmeal you okay I'm gonna oatmeal. um yeah emma doesn't like oatmeal he's eating eggs and avocado i'm intolerant to eggs i can't eat eggs unfortunately so i'm eating <laughs> Greek yogurt with blueberries. She's having eggs and avocado. He's having oatmeal and berries. So it's kind of ridiculous putting together three different breakfasts, but normally all of us eat the same thing, but I guess not today. to the point get it done real quick we don't waste time around here i gotta get ready and then be with my kids and then tackle the rest of the day and uh emma is sleeping during this time so as i'm working out and getting ready she's sleeping the whole time for her morning nap and she naps close to two hours so like around an hour and a half to two hours would be her morning nap nathan is either occupied with toys which he does a really good job playing with toys on his own for a little bit sometimes i'll turn on some shows for him just for a little bit in the morning but anyways let's get into the routine so first things first moisturizer okay so i suck at eyebrows i am honestly you guys the last person to come to for like any like makeup tutorials or anything like i just suck at it to be honest i just do the best that i can but i recently bought the anastasia is it anastasia or anastasia i see i don't know i'm not an expert i'm using the dip brow gel thing i don't know again i don't know i love it it's so much easier doing my brows with this product versus drugstore brands I've been using for years so I am going to keep repurchasing this one just because I really like it I have it in the shade dark brown what I usually do is I just dab a little bit and then as you can tell I was just brushing my brows a bit and I'm gonna try to do this as best as I can um I just kind of make a line at the bottom oh no what you got yogurt are you done eating your yogurt anyways uh <laughs> I just make a line at the bottom here and then I kind of just try to I apply a little bit more and then I just kind of brush up with this This is the ankle brush. This is also by Anastasia. I think this is number 12 um, And just go like this. I'll link all this down below for you guys If you wanted to check it out make it more dark over here and then a little bit less up here I just kind of keep filling it in until I feel like it's good. I try to do a little bit up here up there too and then i'll usually like brush it down like that okay so now we're going to cover up our unwelcome guests over here what i'm going to use is the tarte shape tape concealer i'm going to use the neutrogena radiant tint moisturizer i love this stuff i'm running so low i keep forgetting to purchase more at the store um and then i'm using my artiste brush i think this is the oval seven but are you supposed to put concealer on your blemishes like i hear mixed things like you you can you can't I don't know. We're just going to do it because I am not digging this. So I just kind of go like that. Now this brush, Artie's brush, oh my god, I look kind of ridiculous. This Artie's brush is not really good for um, like under eye concealer just because of how fat it is. But 
we're just going with it. So this concealer is not my right shade, I know. But we're gonna go over it with this stuff, so I think it's gonna look fine. Uh, and then, right here, our unwelcomed guests. Go away. I probably should give my skin a break and like let it breathe. But you know what? I did it. I did that already for two days straight and like I'm tired of seeing these so I want them covered up. I'm telling you this is not a professional get ready with me. But I think that's what makes it fun. Okay this is like totally <laughs> like so far. Like, so, I'm gonna try my best to like squeeze as much as I can out of it. Alright and then we blend. So I used this Anastasia contour cream kit. I'm not sure if they have this anymore. I'll try to find it. I kind of just, I used to use these like under my eyes, um, but I use the Tarte Shape Tape now. But what I do is I just take one of the darker ones and I literally just go blah, blah. And I take the same Artiste brush and then I just blend upwards. And then I'll also like just kind of do it the whole section right here, just blend it in, even like the corner of my eye right here. Um, and then up here, make sure I get into the hairline, of course. So then I take, this is one of my favorite palettes ever. This is the Hourglass. Um, I got it as a gift. I think they sell it on Ulta. These are the colors. I love them so much. So I use this shade. What is this one called? I don't even know what this one's called. Well, I'll link the exact one down below. And I use my Bare Minerals, like, fluffy brush. And then what I do is I just kind of go, whew, 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 right there. Do you like the sound effects I'm doing? So professional. I'll also go like right here, here, just kind of highlight everything. Oh, and then this is kind of like a blush in the middle. Love this one. So I won't go like right here. I try to stick a little bit higher up. At least those are the tips I've heard and just add just a little bit. I don't like too much blush. I add just a, just a little bit, a little touch. Then I feel like this part of my routine really changes the look on my face. Um, Mascara. I am such a mascara person. I love mascara. I use the Voluminous Lash Paradise. If you guys know me, you know I'm obsessed with this one. And that's my makeup. So I play the mascara. So it looks like we're gonna do my hair now, which is so simple. Like it is so simple. I'm just gonna blow dry it, brush it, curl it. And we're gonna be done. I'm using the T3 curler i've done a review on this brand i love it i can link that video if you want a full detailed review on it but i use the one and a quarter inch barrel so how i do it so easy and simple i just take a section of hair which uh, you guys probably like know this already i'm pretty sure everybody does and i just i one thing is i don't do it from all the way top i've learned to like start from right right here and then curl um and leave sections like leave leave it at the top so that way i don't get like those weird bumps you know with my curls so I kind of just go like right here and then I just uh, wrap it away from my face and then that's how it looks like and I leave it um, like this. Maybe I'll brush it out just a tiny bit and then I'll leave it. Maybe I'll go like this, hold it for a second or two. And there we go. So this is how my hair looks like after I finished curling it. Literally, it took me like eight minutes to curl my hair, which is so nice. Um, and I love curling it like this way because my curls last so much longer. Like even tomorrow, they're still going to look really good. Um, and I'm not using hairspray either. So I normally don't use hairspray anymore, actually. I feel like curling my hair this way makes my curls actually stay and hold. Okay, so we're going to get started with my oatmeal bars recipe. I kind of just came up with this on the spot like a couple weeks ago. And my family has been like addicted to it lately it is so good and feel free to tweak it to however you guys like it and everything is not like exact but i tried to put like you know the right portion measurements that i did so we're going to start with preheating the oven to 350 degrees and then you want to get a pan and line it with some parchment paper so um i just want to point out that the smaller the pan that you use um the longer the cooking time because the bars are going to be thicker but if you use a longer pan um less cooking time but also just keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't get too dark when you cook it in the oven but i do like my bars thicker so i'm using this square tray i'm not sure the exact size of this but um i get thicker bars which is what i personally like also put the recipe in the description box for you guys i'll write down the exact measurements the directions and everything but we're just going to go through real quick right now so we're going to start with four cups of oatmeal and i'm just using the quaker oats quick one minute oats this is just what i have in my pantry and the nice thing about this recipe you just dump everything in a mixing bowl so it's super easy then i take applesauce feel free to use banana like ripe bananas if you want to i hate bananas so i'm using applesauce and this is a 15 ounce can i use like half of this 
um, or a little bit more than half. So I use like a cup of applesauce. And then you can either use maple syrup or honey. I use about a quarter cup of maple syrup. I personally like maple syrup more than honey. Feel free to use more or less. I feel like this amount is already on the less sweeter side. I personally like my bars on the lower sweet side. And then we're doing one cup of peanut butter. Last two parts of the recipe, some salt and some ground cinnamon. I really don't have an exact measurement for this, but for the salt, I literally just go like, like that. I feel like that's enough. <laughs> and the cinnamon, same thing. I kind of just go like that. And then I feel like that's enough. So you can just eyeball it, see what you think is best. And this is what it looks like before I mix it. So we have four cups of oats, one cup of peanut butter, a quarter cup of maple syrup, a cup of applesauce, salt and cinnamon, and then you're gonna mix it up. And with this recipe, you can really add whatever else you want to it. It's such an easy recipe. You can even add chocolate chips inside it if you want to. That would be so yummy. Okay, this is all mixed up. Sorry if you hear Nathan in the background, he's singing. Um, and just put everything on the tray and then I'll press it down with my fingers. So again, you can use this square tray or you can use a longer tray, like a nine by 13 inch pan um, and you'll get thinner bars, but you'll have to cook them for less amount of time. This is going to take me about 15 minutes to cook. All those bars are still cooking. I'm not gonna eat them yet. It's lunchtime and I am starving. So I've been really loving this lunch lately. So I take a couple tortillas, some plain hummus and I just spread them right on the tortillas. I'll add a little bit of this coleslaw mix here. Then I'll take some kidney beans, put it on top of that as well. Then I'll just take a little bit of ground meat, put it on top as well. And then I'm gonna add this um, chili paste, which I'm running so low of, I love this stuff. And this is how it looks like. Probably doesn't look the most appetizing, but you know what, it is so good. Okay, so they just came out of the oven, and I literally just plop it right out of the pan, holding the parchment paper. And then I just cut it into squares, and there you go, that's it. It's super easy, really delicious, and I'm so excited to eat this. I love having this with coffee, and sometimes I love having it as like a dessert, and I spread like Nutella on top, and oh my gosh, it's amazing. We are outside now. Everyone's fed and now we're gonna play at the park hopefully for a couple hours. I literally stay out here for as long as like Emma will let Nathan and I because she has a two nap a day schedule so I try to go in between her first and second nap. So we're gonna stay out here as long as we can and enjoy the sunshine. It's so nice outside. with um, my coffee. So good together, you guys, so good. Okay, so I'm back inside now. Kids are napping. So we were able to be outside for like a couple hours, which was really nice. And we came back, I fed them, changed them, and then they are sleeping now. I think it's like right after three o'clock like 306 or something like that so i'm pretty tired so i'm gonna get some work done now so i'm gonna end this video here so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog video it's just taking you through part of my day um all the products that i did for my get ready with me video i'll have those linked down below i'll also write down my oatmeal bar recipe in the description box down below for you guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time bye